Hey YouTube, this is Vandalo Avel, and today I'm going to review another 380 pistol for you. This is the Walter PPK in 380. So first thing first, let's check if the pistol is safe. So the pistol is unloaded. This weapon is actually my mother's pistol. My mom owns this gun. She's owned it for ever since she was married in the 70s. She said it came from my dad. So, um, basic information on the pistol. It's in 380 caliber. It's, uh, Double action, single action, just like the Makarov pistol that I reviewed last time. So as you can see, the trigger when being pulled back actuates the hammer. And then if you have ammunition in your magazine, subsequent shots will be in single action. Compared to the Makarov pistol, there is a magazine release right behind the trigger guard so it's in the american style not in the heel mounted european style magazine release and as for the safety as you can see there is a decopper right there as you can see if press down press down the hammer will fall safely and there is a steel block that keeps it from touching the firing pin. It has a 6 round capacity. As you can see here, these are the original Walter magazines. They carry 6 rounds. They have a finger extension. When inserted, provides a good place to rest your pinky finger in. There are also some magazines. This is a Walter magazine. Then there are also magazines without the finger extension. For example, this is an aftermarket six round Mechgar magazine. As you can see here, you have to wrap your finger around the bottom, your pinky finger around the bottom like so. Since there is no accommodation for your pinky finger which is okay I guess for concealed carry but the Walter magazines provide the better grip. Also unlike other pistols as you can see here there is no provision for a um, slide stop as you can see if we insert an empty but if you insert an empty magazine, if you lock back the slide, it will lock back. And if you want to chamber a new a new magazine with a fresh round, all you have to do is pull back the slide and the weapon will return into battery with a chambered round. Um, there is also a chambered loaded chamber indicator behind the rear sight there will be a pin protruding from here if there is a round in the chamber there are lots of Walter pistols actually that have this feature so about the pistol itself the history of this weapon um, from the stamping of this weapon it says here it has a few stamps. It has the antler stamp with the number 68 on it on the barrel. It's just that the camera is not all that sharp, but there is an uh, antler and a 68 stamp here indicating that this weapon was made in 1968. From what I researched in the internet, despite the stamping, the Walter stamping, that it's made in Ulm, in Germany, they say that this weapon 
was made in France by Manhurin. Um, please correct me if I pronounce it wrong. So for other stamp, there are Eagle over N stamp here on the frame and also on the slide and the barrel. Serial numbers are also matching on this weapon. During its lifetime, it has been refinished once, as far as I know, that's why this has a highly blued finish. I think it was done by the local gun store, PV Genesia. Um, being refinished, we're not very particular about its loss of value since we don't plan to sell this pistol anyway, this is family heirloom. So with the um, with that, um, I would like to show how easy it is to disassemble this pistol. So pull the hammer back, and then just like the Makarov pistol, you just put the slide down, and just clip it to the side, and then you pull the slide back, up and out, and your pistol is disassembled for cleaning. So there you go. To reassemble it, the tight part of the spring goes around the barrel. Trigger guard goes down again. You get your slide. And then back and over. And there you go. So as far as I can see, you know, for the advantages and disadvantages of this pistol, um, as a small pistol, this is highly concealable. This is not as small as, you know, Keltex and the Taurus subcompact pistols, but this pistol is small enough to be concealed. We compare it to the Makarov pistol that I reviewed earlier. As you can see, the Makarov pistol is sized around, you know, the PPK's older brother, the Walter PP. As you can see, it's slightly smaller, and also the frame is shorter since the Walter PPK has a six round capacity while the Makarov has an eight round capacity. I have shot this pistol several times. Uh, this pistol compared to my earlier Makarov pistol, this is very reliable. It has fed hollow points of different brands, full metal jacket rounds of different brands, and also crappy range reloads. It has fed reliably although as a smaller pistol Recoil was pretty stout. Mm. Since this is my mom's weapon, this is actually retired from service as her personal weapon already because my mom just turned 55 years old and she finds it rather difficult to cycle the slide with her hands. I think she has arthritis already. So even though this pistol is small, this is not actually the best pistol for women or people with weaker hands or the elderly since its blowback design, the recoil spring is wrapped around the barrel. It's kind of hard to chamber around so my mom actually just keeps this at home. As a secondary weapon, she actually relies on a revolver for home defense, which will actually, I'll have to review that revolver in the future. But then the best thing I like about this gun is the cool factor, I guess, and the history, I mean, this weapon was, this the design of this weapon has served in World War II and in the whole search of secret policemen in Europe. 
and also this was James James Bond's gun. This is the 007 pistol, although James Bond carried the uh, PPK in 32 ACP. You know, this is some, this is a similar weapon in 380. So whenever I hold this weapon, you know, I feel like James Bond. So there you go. This is Tung Dalabel saying thank you for watching and mabuhay kayong lahat.